It's a grotesque, utterly disgraceful slur that our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, tells lies. You ever told a lie in public life? I don't believe I have, no. So if this man never lies, then surely he must have nothing to hide. So it is that we find it strange that on requests for information, they've been blocking us at every turn. If you've got nothing to hide, then why restrict access to documents under Freedom of Information? But we can report a further investigation by Jommy T, the Twitter identity, into the mysterious circumstances surrounding his departure with one year left on the contract in 2005 from Tourism Australia. Now, it's been well documented that there is mystery surrounding this. And there is a probity report apparently, according to the Prime Minister, which whitewashes the situation in his favour. But of course, we've tried FOIs, we've tried calling KPMG, we've tried the politicians, we've tried everywhere. But there is no evidence anywhere that this mysterious KPMG probity report actually exists. So the latest is, is that Jommy T has got back a trove of FOIs, Freedom of Information Requests, from Tourism Australia. We applied to see 68 documents, but we were only granted access, full access to two documents, partial access to 16 documents, a lot of redaction there, and we were refused access to 50 documents. Now again, the importance of this is the transparency in democratic government is very much in the people's interest. They need to know what their politicians are up to. They need frankness, they need honesty, transparency and disclosure. This is key to democracy, but unfortunately we're not getting it. But of the documents that we did get, there's a couple of interesting little tidbits in there. The Tourism Australia guy, a guy called Bede Fennell, who's their external relations expert, was in contact with the Prime Minister's office. The Prime Minister's office intervened in the FOI process to refuse us access to documents. It's a very similar situation to what happened in the Brittany Higgins case. Secreting information, hiding it, spinning it, keeping it from the public. But it's happy families on that side of the disclosure fence because Bede Fennell worked with Scott before Tourism Australia as an officer, as a staffer in the New South Wales Liberal Party. And it's very chummy. B doesn't refer to the Prime Minister or Scott Morrison, just Scott. And so it is that yet again, a bid by the Fourth Estate, by the media, to get access to important government documents or any government documents has been refused. Like this video if you'd like to see all the documentation released surrounding the mysterious departure of our Prime Minister, the man who never lies, from Tourism Australia.